Find number four from paper two of the 2011 hire. Find the area between two curves. Ten marks. And you don't even have to work out the points of intersection. It tells you them all. It crosses here at negative two, there at zero, and there again at three. Great. But you have to be careful because these two areas will have to be worked out separately because they've got different tops. Taking the one on the left, first of all. The way that you work out an area is actually by gathering up lots of little strips. These little strips have got a width of dx and a height that will simply be the difference in the co y coordinates. The y coordinate of the top is given by this equation. There it's there. The y coordinate of the bottom is given by this equation. So the height of that strip will be given by the difference in those. So the area of that strip will be that multiplied by dx, and then you just add them all up. So for the area on the left, it's going to be, I'm going to add them up starting at negative 2 and finishing when I get to 0, of the heights of the strips, or well, the top of the strips given by x cubed minus x squared minus 4x plus 4. Take away the bottom, which is 2x plus 4. So that gives the height of the strip, and there's the width of it. Now it's just a case of tidy that up. So from negative 2 to 0 of, I've got x cubed, minus x squared, that'll be minus 6x, and that's, that disappears. Well, that's nice and handy. So I've only got the three terms ready to go. So integrate it. Add 1 to the power, and divide by that power. Add 1 to the power, up to 3, divide by that power. Add 1 to the power, up to 2, divide by that power, 3. Now work it out twice. Work it out at zero. Well, they're all x terms. So that's just going to disappear. Now work it out negative two. I'll show the substitutions first of all. So that's negative two to the four. That's not too bad. A third of negative two cubed. That's nasty. Three times negative two squared. That's fine. So what I've got then is this. Well, zero minus, and then these three parts would be. Well, you could think of that either as just as you've got 2 to the power 4, that's 16 divided by 4, which is 4. Or you could think that knocks out 2 of them, but by the time done that, you could just have had that. So that's going to be, what did I say, 4 with an odd negative, so that's negative 4. Here you've got 8 thirds, 2 to the power 3 is 8. But then, of course, you could just type that onto your calculator. But how many negatives are there up to this, though? I've got 1, 2, and another 3 makes 5, so that's odd, so that's negative. And here I've got 2 squared is 4, 3 fours are 12. How many negatives? 1, 2, 3, 4, so that'll be positive. So what I've got there then is 8 take away 8 thirds, 8 take away 2 and 2 thirds, is going to be 5 and 1 third units squared. Now the second area, this one here, will be very similar to that. It'll just be a reversal of the top and the bottom. I'll call this the area on the right. I could have done it in one go, just this plus that. I'll do this one. So this is starting at zero and going all the way to three. So it's from zero to three of top takeaway bottom. So what are the heights of each of these little strips? Well, it's a distance from the top to the bottom. The y coordinate of the top is given by this, 2x plus four. The y coordinate of the bottom is given by this, x cubed minus x squared minus 4x plus 4 and then it'll be that times the width which is dx to get the area of the little strip then you add them all up by integrating but that's just the reversal of that so that should be the same as this only with the opposite signs so I could have gone straight in with that just putting this in with the opposite signs you could even have put that in and then just ignored the sign in the final answer because having done it that way round would have given you a negative answer another thing that doesn't matter of course is the fact that that dips below the x-axis has got nothing to do with the heights of the strips the height of the strip just depends on coordinate, y coordinate at the top y coordinate at the bottom so this one must be 6x plus x squared minus x cubed dx, just to put it that way around, which will go to the same thing. So that'll be 3x squared up to 2 divided by 2, plus a third of x cubed up to 3 divided by 3, minus a quarter of x to the 4 up to 4 divided by 4, from 0 to 3. So it'll be 3 times 3 squared, well, that's nice, plus a third of 3 cubed, that's still fine, minus a quarter of 3 to the power 4, that's not so nice. 
and then just minus zero because they're all just x terms. So that'll be 9, 27. A third of that, that's just 9, plus 9, minus, unfortunately, 81 upon 4. So that's going to be 36. Take away 20 and a quarter, which will be 16 down to 15 and 3 quarters for the area on the left-hand side, the right-hand side. That's the right-hand area. And then the total area will just be added to two together. Five and a third and 15 and three quarters. So that's going to be 20 plus a number of twelfths here. How many twelfths is that going to be? Well, three into 12 goes four. So that's just four ones are four. Four into 12 goes three, three, three is a nine. That's 13 twelfths. So that's another whole number and one twelfth left over. So there we are. The total area, 21 and a twelfth square units. Now that wasn't too bad because that was just a repetition of that. And apart from that, it was just loads of arithmetic for Denmark's.